So earlier this week, I stumbled across this epic new egg build. I was like, damn, that's that's some serious firepower, man. But God, look at that price. Ooh. Man. Well, a couple days later, I came across this YouTube video and was like, hmm. The uh, the dollar amount in the, the video title kind of caught my eye a little bit. I was like, hmm. That video was published quite some time ago, in the tech world at least, so I kind of, I, I started to wonder if the prices were still valid. If they were still, you know, if those were, if that's really what a Mac Pro cost still. So I went and verified. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Man, maxed out Pro, almost 10 grand. Damn, it's crazy. So this got me thinking. What is the big deal with Mac? Why do people swear by these things? You hear people all the time, oh, they're, they're the best for audio and uh, video and picture rendering, and bleh, you know, whatever. But how much truth is there to that? You know, I, I, I wonder. So I decided to go find out. Try to at least. I'm not all like cool and sponsored and shit. I don't have people giving me hardware. So, you know, I can't do the test myself, but I can I can go look. And I actually found quite a bit of info. So I'll, I'll present a bit of my findings here. And I want to hear you guys see if somebody can tell me what the hell is going on. Does... Does the Apple stuff justify their price? So, here goes nothing. First off, going to be comparing the Xeon E5 2697V2 to the Intel i7 5960X. 5960X is found in the new egg build. The Xeon is found in the Mac. It's an apples to apples comparison. Now, at first glance, the Mac has the uh, hyper-threaded 12-core, the i7 has only a hyper-threaded 8-cores, you know, despite its shortcomings, the i7 is an animal. And this isn't just because of the chip itself. The i7 utilizes DDR4 RAM, while the Xeon uses DDR3, and this makes a huge difference. Huge difference. I'll go into that a little bit later, but... I mean, even the CPUs by themselves, the i7, especially single core wise, it, it destroys the Xeon. So aside from the DDR4 versus DDR3, the Mac is using DDR3 ECC RAM, so it has the error correction in it. While this build, the new egg build, doesn't currently use that, it's a custom PC build, so if you wanted to put that in it, put it in it. You can, it's out there. You could even swap in a, a motherboard with two CPUs and use ECC RAM if you want. Whatever. Doesn't matter. You're not going to use this CPU because the 5960X doesn't support ECC. But if you wanted to put everything else in there to do it, by all means. If that's something you need, it's more than doable. I have some uh, a whole ton of information in the description. Please check it out. Uh, there's videos, there's benchmarks, there's all kinds of stuff comparing DDR3 to DDR4. The long and short of it, if you want the TLDR, DDR4 is much faster. It, especially when paired with a really, really fast CPU like this, there's, there's no comparison at all. So, yeah. One point for the PC. Now, as far as storage goes, the Mac's going to be faster. Definitely, it has the PCIe storage while the the current build only has only SATA 3 um, solid state drives but the budget actually allows for one of these Intel 750 series PCIe solid state drives you could put a 400 gig one of those in and still be within about a hundred bucks of the Mac machine that would give you three four terabyte spinners, three SATA three solid state drives, and a 400 gig um, PCIe drive. That's almost 16 terabytes 
of storage space. And if you need more than that, you need help. Because that's just... Man. That's bad. I mean, I'm a dadder hoarder. I am. But, jeez. That's rough. <laughs> it's a lot of storage space. Still within budget. Just saying. Two for the PC? On the GPU side of things, do I really even have to mention? I mean, we all know what the Titan X is. The new egg build has three of them in it. Come on now. it uh, It's... That's insane. Again, I have a whole bunch of info and, and uh, links and videos and all kinds of stuff in the description comparing the, the D700s that are in the Mac to the Titan X. And if you want to read it, by all means. But three of them? Really? Yes, you do get diminished returns when you go 3 plus on the SLI. We all know that. But hey, diminished returns are still returns. And it's in budget, so fuck it. Why not, right? Three for the PC? I think so. So, all the the nitty gritty benchmarks and numbers aside, you really can't put a value on the flexibility of PC. You could overclock the CPU if you felt like it. If you wanted to take out some hard drives, if you decide you don't need all those hard drives, put them on Craigslist, put them on eBay, whatever, doesn't matter, no one cares. Go for it. In a couple months, maybe you want to put one of these in there. Oh yeah, Skylake, you can do it. It ain't going in your Mac Pro. Nope, ain't gonna happen. So, I, I really wonder. I wonder, why do people like Mac? Why do people like Apple stuff, in general, really? But, they make good stuff, and, you know, if you need them for a specific program, if you want to run, um, whatever the hell that damn Logic Pro... Hey, you know, if you have a specific need for it, go for it. Other than that, and even that is like, I've, I've recorded music on PC for years. It works fine. I don't... Mm. Somebody enlighten me. Why do people use Macs? I don't get it. It's good stuff. It's good hardware. It's secure. They do get malware, though. Don't think they don't. It's not bad stuff, but is it really worth the Apple tax? Someone enlighten me. Show me some stuff. Come on. Bring some specs, bring some hardware, bring some info, bring some comparisons, bring some whatever. I don't know. Be interesting to see. So, that's it for now. Have a good one. Later.